back to yet another amazing class. I hope you're having a wonderful day because I am. Today our learning targets are I can complete my spelling assessment. I can change two syllable words. I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story Mandrills. Today is our spelling test. During a spelling test, I will read a word aloud, use it in a sentence and then read the word again let's review our spellings we have ah uh, we have her uh, we have oi we have are uh, and we have tr a tricky word we have are uh, we have er uh, we have oi uh, we have or uh, we have tricky word now on the r sound we have sharp 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 and sharp is spelled S H A R P. Sharp. Sharp is spelled S H A R P. Sharp. We have shark. 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 And shark is spelled S H A R K. Shark. S H A R K. Shark. We have start. Start. And start is spelled S T A R T. Start. S T A R T. Start. Under the er sound, we have fern. Fern. Remember, we are reading the green fern zoo. We are reading the green fern zoo. So we have fern. F E R N. Fern. F E R N. Fern. We have verb. Remember, verb is an action word. Verb is spelled V E R B. Verb. V E R B. Verb. We have oi, the oi sound. And under the oi sound, we have spoi. Spoi. And spoi is spelled S P O I L. Spoi. S P O I L. Spoi. Under the all sound, we have crawl, 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 and crawl is spelled C R A W L, C R A W L. With a tricky word, we have because, 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 and because is spelled B E C A U S E, B E. C A U S E. Now, can someone tell me what tricky words are? Tricky words are words that don't follow the rules. They don't abide to the rules. They don't follow the rules. Now, open your worksheet 10.1. I want you to write the spelling sharp, sharp, start, fern, verb, spoil, crawl, and because. Sharp. Shark, start, fern, verb, spoil, crawl, and because. We have been practicing reading two syllable words that are either compound words or root words with ends like in or ing or er, which is er, the er ending. Today, we will also practice reading two syllable words that are neither compound words nor root words with endings. How many vowel sounds does each syllable have? Every syllable has one vowel sound. Remember, we said every syllable has one vowel sound. I will say two syllable words with a different type of syllable. You will repeat the words and clap out the syllables. We have basket, basket, basket. We have napkin. We have two syllable words in basket, which is the A and the E. A and the E. A and E. A and E. A and E. Basket. We have napkin. 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 We have two syllables there we, we have a uh, and the e a uh, in nap e in kin 
picnic, we have zu. We have e in pick. We have ni e in nick. Then dentist, we have e in dent, and we have sorry, we have e in dent, and we have e in teeth. So those words are not compound words. No, they are not compound words, nor are they root words followed by the and ended. However, they are two syllable words because there are two distinct vowel sounds in each word. There are two distinct vowel sounds in each word. And let's start with our word chaining. Remember, we did word chaining last term on our unit on our grade one unit three so we are we did words like poi we did words like foy we did words like um spoil yes we did words like koi foy spoil now we're going to change this new words we have faster we have faster so we're going to remove the r in faster and put helper, helper. We remove the same R in helper and we have better, better. Remove the B in better and put L. It gives us letter. Remove the R in letter and it gives us quicker, quicker. You remove the quick in quicker, it gives us quickest. We remove the quick in quickest gives us fastest now we're going to chain another word we're going to complete another chaining we have sunset we have sunrise we have sunshine we have sundown open your readers page 18 you would see a head topic there mandrills mandrills I read, here you can see two mandrills. Mandrills are a lot like chimps. Remember I said chimps are chimpanzees. Chimpanzees. Now, do you like the red nose? The mandrills with the red nose is a male. The mandrills on the left is grooming the male with the red nose. She is looking for ticks and bugs. Mandrills like grooming because it makes them look good and feel good too. Look, one of the mandrills is yawning. You can see that he has long sharp teeth. Those sharp teeth can, those sharp teeth can help him chop up his food. Mandrills like a lot of food. We feed our mandrills. Ants grass, nuts, bark, plant shoots and roots. Mandrins have sacs in their cheeks. They can stuff food in the sack and keep it there until they need a snack. Then they pop the food out and munch on it. They pop the food out and munch on it. I hope you enjoyed my reading. The topic of today's story is mandrins. These animals are monkeys. They have colorful red noses and also live with their families. Let's review our spellings. We have the R sound. We have the O sound. We have tricky words. We have two syllable words. Two syllable words. Remember I said we have the R sound, the O sound, tricky words and the two syllable words. Now, under the R sound, we have sharp and back. Sharp and back. Remember, they said they feed the mandarin sweets back. And also, the mandarins have sharp teeth. They have sharp teeth. Now, these are syllable words from things that swim. These are syllable words from things that swim and the book we just read, Mandrills. So, ah, under the R sound, we have sharp and back. Sharp, 
spells S H A R P sharp S H A R P sharp back is spelled B A R K back B A R K back under the all sound we have four four F O R four F O R four under the tricky words we have to do because and there to do because and there to is spelled T W O two T W O two do is spelled D O do D O do because is spelled B E C A U S E because B E C A U S E because 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 now dear is spelled C H E I R there T H E I R there then under our two syllable words we have mandrills mandrills we have looking 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 we have grooming 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 we have yawning 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 let's review the vocabularies we have mandrills we have male we have grooming mandrills male grooming we have tick tick plant shoots plant shoots plant shoots we have sack sack remember mandrills store food in the sack inside their mouth they store their food in the sack inside their mouth let's read to find out what mandrins and chimps have in common number one what is the topic of today's story mandrins the topic of today's story is mandrins the topic of today's story is mandrills in what way are mandrills like chimps Remember I said, if, when you're answering a question, you just, you have to make a set statement before you answer the question. They live with their families and eat ants, plants, and animals. You could say, the mandrins live, the man, what the mandrins have in common with the chimps is that they live with their families and eat ants, plants, and nuts. And plants and nuts. Number three, how are mandrills different than chips? They are different. They are different in colors and size. They are different in colors and size. They have sacks in their mouth for keeping food, but chips don't have sacks in their mouth for keeping food. Open your worksheet 10.2, you're going to answer the questions on mandrills. You're going to answer the questions on mandrills. Open your worksheet 10.3. You're going to read chimps to your friends, your parents. You're going to call your friends, you call your family members, your parents. You read chimps to them. Practice reading chimps to them. Then it's going to help you improve in your pronunciations, your reading, and your vocabularies. Thank you for having an amazing time with me. I hope you enjoyed my class. Till we meet again in our next video. Bye.